You see this Afro Siob? This is the bougie high speed train. If you can, get it, but you have to book it in advance because it sells out quick. But that ain't the train that we're taking. We're gonna be taking that train behind it. The old school looking Soviet era train. Okay, here is where we're going. We have spot 14, if we find it. Wow, this is it. This is what we call luxury. Here's where you stick your shit. Ah, oh, you open that up. Boom, that just opens up. Stick that in and you're done. So you'll be sharing the luxe compartment with someone, but it's not so bad. You get some things for your tea, you get mirrors, you can hang up your stuff over here, a little space over here. Like I showed you before, there was some cargo space in here. And uh, most important thing, you've got AC coming from here. And the car is not running, so it is hot right now, which means the rest of the wagons are gonna be boiling. It is a little comical to call this luxury. The one luxury is the AC that you're getting. Like, that's it. Now there is, very comically, a TV in here. But, God knows if it even works. I had to say cool, with that. Well, here's the restaurant. Let's see what we have. Well, here's our old Soviet-style restaurant. Sajim. Oh, clean, uh, clean table. <laughs> this is our package of sheets and the like. We got some clean sheets. We've got a little hand towel. Look at that. Then these bad boys open up. You stick your towel right there. Now you're traveling like a first class Soviet citizen and not like a third class peasant. This left one is storage. We can put all your drugs or don't because this is Uzbekistan. You're gonna get in a lot of trouble if you get caught with drugs. Or you go, could also put stuff into this one. There is actually storage up there too. So surprisingly, this little uh, cabin has quite a few amenities that you won't find in the other ones. And some of the other ones, your amenities, you get a seat and you sit in it for the whole ride. So, yes, this is Soviet royalty right here. Even better, Soviets could not have imagined the AC coming out of there. They could not have imagined these outlets over here. Probably could not have imagined that no smoking sign. But anyway, this is luxury. You told somebody that you had just traveled to Uzbekistan in an SV class. You would be getting robbed that night. You want to make sure nobody breaks into your house at night, right? You have all sorts of valuables because you're traveling lux over here. You're traveling so lux, you want to make sure you properly lock your door. So you can do this, but then what you can do is lift that up. So when you open the door a little bit, you can peek out there and nobody can come in and rob you. No banditi are gonna enter your little cabin, you know? But look at this, I'm six feet tall, that's 183 centimeters. Fit all the way back, all the way here. You know, relative to the other seats of this cabin, this is a blessing. If you don't believe in God, walk through the other cabins and then come back to your first class seat and you're gonna believe in God again. Okay, that's it, good night. Okay, let me tell you something about the train classes. There's the SV, which is the Lux. There'll be nine cabins. There's gonna be four people per cabin. Whoa. Okay.
then we're going to have the coupe, which is nine cabins in the wagon. But now you're going to have four beds in there for a cabin. You'll also have these little seats out here. They're going to have nice power outlets with them. And these are cheaper, so these are basically the second class tickets. So the SV are the first class, the coupe are second class. Now, in the USSR, actually, most people, if they were really affording themselves a luxury, they would just get themselves the coupe. If you were to get an SV ticket, that was really something else. Then there's always, well, the restaurant cart. You can get dinner, you can get breakfast. But before, people, what they would really do is they would bring their own foods because, well, the breakfast was always super expensive and wasn't considered that good. And then the third class is called Plotskartner, which is basically dormitory style buildings, left to right, there's 54 of them. And these are always for sure the loudest because this would be the people who traditionally, for example, might go, they might go somewhere, work for a month, and then they would take a month off. But what they would do during that time is they would be, you know, at night time, during the day they would be drinking, and at night they would be drink. Uh, during the day, they would be working, and during the nighttime, they would be drinking, partying, hooking up, <laughs> finding like hookers, prostitutes, and so they would always be really, really loud. That's what Plus got me. Let me show it to you. And don't forget your tea bag because on every train you're gonna have this contraption. You all you have to do is put your cup underneath, you pull, you turn the little uh, valve, and then you're gonna get boiling water coming in, and you're gonna be able to have some tea. 14 hours later, we are here. Most important tip is when you're on this long, long train, well, besides sitting in the Lux cabin, make some friends. Okay, now we are off to Hiva. If you like the content, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Peace.